Good evening. Did Tory party central office systematically break election expenses laws? We can reveal that this is a question asked by the SNP tonight in a letter that they have sent to the Metropolitan Police. So after weeks of investigations conducted by this program, the question over last year's Tory election expenses has been escalated to a new level. Also tonight, an American drone strike has killed the leader of the Taliban, just as the extremist group was doubling down on its spring offensive, Afghanistan's annual fighting season. The migrant crisis continues to make political waves all over Europe. In Austria today, Norbert Hofer, a far-right-wing gun enthusiast who's vowed to halt what he calls a Muslim invasion of his country, is neck and neck in exit polls to become Austria's next president. And here, the Prime Minister chose a supermarket to echo the fears of some of Britain's biggest former retail bosses that Brexit would mean price rises. But the real debate today was about Turkey, the country, not the poultry, and whether the UK could prevent it from joining the EU in return for stemming the flow of migrants. So, we begin tonight with that news that the SNP has asked the Metropolitan Police to investigate whether the Conservative Party is guilty of a, quote, systematic attempt to circumvent electoral legislation over its election expenses claims. Allegations first uncovered by this programme centre on whether the costs of busing Conservative activists into marginal seats should have been declared by candidates contesting those seats. The party says that apart from an administrative error in failing to declare one set of expenses, the rest were declared.